Hey everybody, Claude Junior on here, and today we're doing a review on Create a Monster. We were contacted by Mattel, and we're asked to do a review on these dolls. I really appreciate it, and I'm so happy right now, I can't even tell you. So, you can make 250 combinations with the Create a Monster starter kits. 250. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. So, we have the Vampire and Sea Monster. And the Werewolf and Dragon. Which are both my favorite. They're both so pretty. I can't choose either one of them. On the back of the box, you have eight different combinations that you might make. And it says two starter kits plus three packs equals that. So these are the Creative Monster packs, and behind them are the starter kits. Remember that you need the starter kit in order to make the add on packs. So get the starter kit. Also, for the three add on packs, I can't choose one of them. I love them all so much. They're all so pretty. So first we have the Killer Queen Bee, or the Insect Gal, and her outfit is killer. Just love her. Next, we have the spine chilling skeleton ghoul with a freakishly fabulous outfit. And her limbs oh my god, I love her legs and arms. They're actual bones. Kind of. Next, we have the three eyed ghoul, which her three eyed is so freakishly fabulous, too. And her legs have these tattoos on them that I love. Three eyed ghoul. They did a great job with Create a Monster, and I hope you guys like my review. Now, let's get them out of the box. And we're back with the Create a Monster, Sea Monster, and Vampire. Also, the Werewolf and Dragon. So, we're going to start off by showing you what they come with. So, they come with two heads, two pairs of hands, and the Vampire has claws, and the Sea Monster has shaped clawed hands, which are awesome love how they shaped it. Also they come with four arms and upper arms. And I love how they have those little tentacles on the sea monster. So they have four, eight pairs of arms. One pair of shoes. One wig. One, or actually two pairs of dresses. One for the vampire and one for the sea monster. And it's a two piece. Then you have thighs, four of them, and legs for the vampire, and then one for the sea monster. And I think that the fins on them are fantastic. They look like um like they go really fast, kind of like blades. I just love them. So. There they are. Oh, and they come with a little fat barrette and a comb and a stand. And same thing with the werewolf and dragon. So now let's just create a monster. <laughs> and we're back in the creation chamber. So she has slots for arms that you put in. Click them in. Okay. Now let's see, put on the head. Okay. Uh, four arms, of course. And the hands. Wait, get that in. And as you can see, it's very easy to assemble or to create a monster. <laughs> now let's put in the legs. Sorry, it's a bit. Okay. One scaly leg. 
two skilly legs. Oops, I put it on backwards. Okay, two skilly legs. <laughs> and that's the dragon. Still just gotta put on the wings. Oops, her arm fell out. But it's still easy to reassemble. So each torso has a slot for wings too. Just so you guys know. And here's the dragon. All we need to do is put in the wig and the outfit. So we're going to start off with the outfit. Here's the dragon. So I gave her little wolf ears, so she's half dragon, half wolf. And I love how the ears are clipped in, so you can not only make a werewolf a wolf, or a dragon a dragon, you can mix and match. So I think that's pretty awesome. So, now let's uh, get started on the sea monster, and the other three packs. Be right back. Back with the three monsters I made. First we have the Dragon Bee, she has the Dragon Scale Skin, and her outfit, and she has bee glasses above her bangs, and dotted eyes, dragon wings, and her dress has fishnets, and the bee design. Also, her arms are fading into black with her hands. And she's daughter of the dragon bee. Next, we have daughter of the three eyed aliens. And she has pink, purple hair. Pink is purple. <laughs> and her third eye. It doesn't have makeup on it because it's used to hypnotize people. That's the... She has tentacles on the sides of her arms. Which is really cool. And she has claws for hands. Just kind of coming out, but oh well. Her purple dress has a DNA belt on it. It has like little DNA designs on it. And her dress is just a basic purple. And lastly, her lovely legs, <laughs> which is purple on top and then blue on the bottom with these swirly tattoos that she also uses to hypnotize people, <laughs> and strapped shoes, which I love. I love her shoes, so they would go with all the dolls. Oh, and the bee girl shoes are just the, like the wolf ones with the moons on the side. And lastly, we have the skeleton girl, and she, which I also have back there, but she has red bangs with some purple in them, and she also has a little bat barrette, cute, and her makeup, uh, her lips make it look more like bones, so I love her lips, and also she has normal skin tone color, but her arms turn into bones. The same as her hands, because she's half human, half skeleton, and her dress is just um, basic green with the dots. And she has no legs yet because this is not the normal torso, but if you want to see it, that's what it looks like with her claws and shoes. Love those shoes though, I love, Creative Monster has the best shoes, gotta admit it. <laughs> that's that. And that is my dolls those are my OCs <laughs> so you can click on the three eyed goal to go to Monster Highs Facebook I mean YouTube click on Monster Highs YouTube by clicking on the three eyed girl <laughs> click on the B girl to go to their Facebook and click on the skeleton girl to go to monsterhigh.com and if they don't work they should all be down in the description down there so, I'd really like to thank Mo Mattel and Monster Eye for sending me the Monster Eye Creative Monster Packs. And remember to be unique, be yourself, and be a monster. Talk to you later.